Representative Denise Gardner here is here with us from Fayetteville. She's in Little Rock right now, uh, breaking down this 144 pages of legislation. And Representative Gardner, thank you so much for joining us today give a, to give us your perspective as a Democrat and as someone on the Education Committee uh, thoughts on this bill. What are your uh, key points? You know, I think there's a lot of there's a lot of the bill that um, I I agree with. Okay. Um, there's quite a bit of it that I don't. Um, I think that it feels very rushed in that uh, there's a lot of there's typos and there's um, some pieces that uh, terms have not been defined and that kind of thing. So there's some things that um, we really need to spend some more time on. Um, but but there in general, um, I like a lot of the, the things that they're talking about. Um, obviously, literacy and early childhood and career ed. There there are a lot of things. Uh, teacher salaries, although when you look at the details, um, you know there's some things that do concern me. Um, it, teachers will not get the salaries if the uh, school districts are already. Or, or don't already spend 80% on teacher salaries. So, you know, there's there are a lot of details that, that we have to go through. I took the 144 pages and um, have an annotated, annotated just a um, uh, outline that's 12 pages. So just the outline is 12 pages. And so just going back through the bill to get some of the details is taking a long, long time. Well, Representative Garner, let's talk about the salaries that you mentioned. Um, there are a couple of uh, points here. Now, Democrats do have uh, two separate uh, bills uh, concerning salary as well, raising the teacher pay to 50,000 and also um, salary or money concerning staff. So does this bill have anything to do with staff raises as well? Not just teachers, but those who maybe drive the bus or work in the cafeteria. I have not, I have not seen anything about classified raises at all. Um, and even, you know, even the teacher raises, um, like I said, the school districts have to have to um, spend 80% of their of their salaries, of their budget on teacher salaries. And so, you know, there's there are folks that will not get get those salaries, those salary increases. So not every teacher will get salary increases necessarily. Okay. The the big yeah. the other big thing uh, for me is the cost of this this bill. Uh, we're talking about literacy coaches and mercy coaches and um, school safety implementation, uh, all kinds of extra hiring. And uh, they're saying that the bill should only cost 300,000 over what we've already spent. But, uh, you know, we spend $4.5 billion on, um, on uh, the budget for education. And so we're talking about spending what we already spend plus this 300,000. So that's a lot of, that's a lot of money. And, you know, I think that um, I'm worried about the sustainability of it. We're talking about 30,000 homeschoolers and 27,000 uh, private schoolers that, that potentially could get the money for uh, the, the public funds for, for education. So that's, that's already a lot of money that's coming out of the school system that is already stretched um, with scarce resources. Uh, I know that our REACH bill, uh, our RAISE bill uh, was uh, 300000 for just the teachers' raises. And so wow. I don't know where they're coming up with that money. So that's that's a big concern. OK, and uh, you did mention uh, a little bit about the private and homeschooling and the vouchers. What happens right. specifically? Um, is the money just being pulled out of uh, public schools? What happens to uh, students in special education? Has it been mentioned or discussed at all? Well, that, you know, that is that is my biggest concern about vouchers. Um, the research shows that uh, um, 80 80 to 90 percent of the voucher monies in other states 
just go to folks who are already in public, already in private schools or in, in parochial schools. So it doesn't um, it doesn't take care of um, the folks that we really need to be taking care of, those with limited resources. And um, that's that's one of the big issues. I, that vouchers do not take care of those folks who have special needs or, or need uh, transportation to get to those schools or who don't have um, parochial or or private schools in their in their areas in their counties many many don't so you know there's there's a lot of details that we've got to go through and a lot of questions that I have about the bill um, it's been mentioned over and over that um, you know we shouldn't be nobody should be surprised about this bill nobody should be um, you know, nobody should have questions about it uh, because they've been talking about it for two years, but they haven't been talking to the Democrats. Certainly, you know, I'm one of two Democrats on the Education Committee, and this is, you know, I saw the, the bill the first time on President's Day and um, and still trying to, to weed through it. So, and, I, and I've had superintendents and principals and teachers who have been here to the Capitol, have taken time off to come to the Capitol to say, that they were not included in any of this decision making. So I'm not sure how they can say that it's been a collaborative effort because um, certainly the Democrats and the stakeholders in the public schools have not been included in those decision making, okay. in that decision making. All right, Representative Denise Garner, we are out of time right now, but thank you so much for joining us with your perspective on things and your thank expertise you. from the Education Committee. So I'm sure we'll be talking to you again in the near future about this bill thank and you. other other legislation moving through. Thank you so much for joining us for 402090s on the thank record. You very much.